Today we are going to start our first new chapter, 15 Biodiversity and Conservation. Hi, biodiversity, environmental issues, organisms and populations, ecosystems, more biodiversity. Why? Because we need to know how much living organisms of species of our plants and animals were there and then how do, how do we need to protect them, where are the places where we can protect them, you know, and what are the... Um, the services that they, they give to the humans and why do we why it becomes our duty to protect our or conserve our biodiversity so in all levels our government in our state in our district level we all have our own conservation board biodiversity conservation board so that we can protect the living uh, animals plants so biodiversity to change to the number of living organisms, the number of living organisms, plants and animals in the earth. Mula bio to change life, diversity to change to like so many, many, many diverse. Mula India le diversity, India is a diverse country. Mula diversity ki mo zat to zat zat mitwa to mo mit change ha. So in the same way, living organisms, the number more the number of living organisms. Number of living organisms, mole. It can be lower organisms, it can be higher organisms, plants, animals, more living building, huh? My diversity kitchen. And then how can we learn about this? Uh, how the number, the species, and then after that, how can we conserve Chikoma? That will be discussed in this chapter. And then so who gave the term biodiversity? Immense diversity. Diversity For example, like to, um, species nibang. Uh, if you made it, then you get a new species hybrid. So all those are also possible because we have different types of species, right? Or the whole hybridization like about here, plants and animals. So it is an immense diversity or heterogeneity with which occurs at all levels of biological organization, ranging from Macromolecules within cells to biomes, lead pentan. So it was, uh, this term was given by uh, Rosen and then popularized by Edward Wilson. Edward Wilson popularized it because it's so recent and associate uh, Edward Wilson, sociobiologist, Karen Moon. So all levels are <coughs> here. So Alexa, uh, at all levels are uh, biodiversity. Uh, at all levels, mom. At all levels are uh, atamda. The number of living organisms, ka plants and animals. Uh, at all levels, here. Uh, banga at all levels. Level the tom tom the banga hoy the in lima. Number one, ah. Uh, a gene, a young pin pin, more gene, genetic diversity. Mole. So, <coughs> gene diversity, mole genetic diversity, aha. Species cut me mainly, species cut kibanta, for example, a plant cut. Mole plant cut to here, a genetic, waha, bang up, there were some differences, so there uh, they can have, dif they can show different effects. Molecular basis of inheritance or genetics are symbiogena. So genes are the body, 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 the a species ki bang le a gene ki bang le a chemical effect ko le to to mo me the so that is how the how diversity is you know me ki bang le le gene ki bang le jo mala ji dang do so hey a ka example ka min gene hoy ka medicinal plant jo medicine ball ni medicine tam tam mo bi bi ko mang yam ko nga zat hoy ka drug ki na ka akila ke na ka raul fia so important w raul fia Vomitoria, which is her wolfia vomitoria, huh? Himalaya, mo Himalaya, poetry, Himalaya mountains, Himalaya, and the TV, well, a mullet. 
Nepal, Nepal, Sikkim, Tibet, Himalaya, Eastern, Himalaya, Saha. We know that Himalaya is very rich in biodiversity. Mo, why is it plants and animals? So, Rahul, fear for me to learn. Ha, bang ha. As a genetic diversity, not that. What exactly does it shows that they are, they have diverse genes and that have di different effects. They have one chemical. Why ha chemical? Bang ha reserve pin kichi. Bang bang ha chemical mean reserve pin. Hey, pin ha Himalaya range sa ha. Himalaya range sa Asanglam, Angyamlam, Anwailam. Di bang lawe jo? Ati asing po na kibang law mo na. Himalayan Rangers, aki ba law dong zuya ka? Asang lam tiya ka? Chemical, pin ka? Strong zo. Hindi siya mo yan, sa reserve pin pin ka? It is more. Bang titi dia, text buka kigal dan siya din ko ni. Then di o, potensi ka. Ahat dan mo. To ang damdoy di ka. If it is ahat dong zuya ka? Strength. Strength. If it is more stronger, then it is much better, na. So a potency pin ka. It is more stronger. Atong lama po ti ano ay lama ti ka o ti rong lama halo ti kong. That is why why is that? Why is that? Why why the plant in different parts of the Himalayan ranges they 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 show different effects when we made into a drug because of the potency, mala because of the genetic diversity. The potency is different. The concentration. Of that chemical reserve pin is different clear so in that way we have in the earlier we have different strains of genes uh, for example rice ka 50,000 kine to maripur may may inlet yun na atam dan mo atam dan rice varieties malam ay ka genetic diversity siya kaya ito abana mangole 1,000 varieties so malam excuse me Because of the genetic diversity, we have different strains of rice and mango. Alright, in Jinhaya, a notable example of Pinka Raulfia for me to hear. Pangzia kan tiu mo, a different range of sounds ya waha, a potency ha, di bang lao. And next sa ha, species diversity. To the species ni ha, atam, 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 a, Tangpia mo, Western Guards, Western Guards ka, India hit ali, I don't think ka Western Guards ka jimo, I don't think ka Eastern Guards, Western Guards ka hiyak kerala tagal na doon jiti ko mo, I don't know Western Guards are biodiversity animal species bin ka, it is much much, they are much more rich, the species richness is more in Western Guards than in Eastern Guards. Bala, amphibians. You will find different types of varieties of frog species in Western Guards. All right. Abana next sa ka ecological diversity. Ecological diversity. Ecological diversity. For example, pa ka India ka. By diversity, tama tama. By diversity, liling ako kini jo hotspots mo. By biodiversity, pinha le tung pumpiale amin ka tay pagaw mi this one of the biodiversity we know hotspots because we have so many different types of species of animals and plants in different parts of India. Why India ka this much much better diverse than Norway? What kind of ecological diversity are we talking about? For example, we have desert, Rajasthan, we have rainforest, mole. Ilam kong le ko so Meghalaya, Manipur, ji kong le ba na mangroves, chile Bengal omcha coral reefs, chile. Anda mana ni ko barai ni nama ni algae de, apa na woodlands jadi aku ni asam konga estuaries, alpine meadows, mau Himalayan lam konga je. Okay, the whole time piom nama meadows deh ka, green 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 grasses, beautiful beautiful places. Tapi kini ni tu, ay deh ka ecological diversity ke halua. Yo, na na ule asa, ah ule asa, avoda avodom, tui om mana. So we have different types of diversity and it's much 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 more than Norway. So in this way, we have different types of diversity at different levels, all right? So, I take it down. <coughs> Three levels, ka. So, are you seeing ka? By diversity, atam dan to the species, are you seeing ka? Bang ay chile? International. 
union for bon, conservation of nature voilà, and natural resources. Here we have total 1.5 million species. Come on, from that 1.5 million species. Oji. I pick up to Imule. I mean, Piak Tele Tampium Ta Imule Expaki Explore Nile Ole Montampium. So we are still exploring. All right. To a table figure 15.1 at Expo and Legend. I pick up objective Hong Kaka by Zelma. Long is it like we are to buy a hollow. Yet the invertebrates, invertebrates have a backbone nail of them. Invertebrates are insects. Diversity. It is much, much more. Insects will be followed by mollusks. Mollusks will be followed by crustaceans. Prawns. Eyes. We call it about other animal groups. Vertebrates are fishes. Fishes. Amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. And follow. Plants. Yeah, fungi bang tampil. Fungi cuma mushroom sih, kong abah nak niak teh ilok edible poisonous tampil. Yang belum fungi tika dah leaves on dead and decaying. Matter. Fungi will be followed by abah nak angiosperms, flowering plants ni mana? Flowering plants abah nak ferns, lilies, mosses, algae and lichens. So in this way we have different types of diversity and different species measure of measure taxa. Adang tejo text buka figure fifteen point one and lelajin. Kau tahu tak? For one more question, I have to prepare for you. For the fact that I'm saying, what is that fact? The fact that in India, the whole land area has two point four percent. So, kini ay bang ha? Ako yung mama ka ju species diversity ha? Global ba? Species diversity ha? We have around eight point one. It's very impressive, right? That is why we are in one of the mega diversity countries of the world. Even though our land area is very small, we have we are very 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 rich in species diversity. Why tam do so yaha in a sub dule tam in conserve dule tam mula? To patterns and lay bang tinan dawa patterns si si chang ha bang lam din ngin tao patterns of biodiversity. Banga pertan si cik cang abang om dan untuk for example lah pertan heka equator itu mana? Hati kan lagi curi ya? Hati kan bang long kicur mana? Tu pertan si cik cang for example tu equator equator ah equator area pada kah species dia kah they are more richer than the poles north pole and south pole. So as we go Towards the poles, then the species richness decreases. But as we go towards from the poles to the equator, the species richness is increasing. Why is it some upper trans come on globally? So what happens is that species diversity decreases as we move away from equator towards the poles. And whoever the countries here, they're here, for example, equator are on the countries, they'll be more rich than the North and South Pole countries. There are so many examples. For example, Colombia. Colombia is situated near equator. Colombia, they have more species of birds. And then, mole. <coughs> while New York has less species of birds. And then it goes on Greenland. Greenland, ha? Poles, lam on Greenland, ha? They have least species. For example, India, India, le, Equator, Chihongle, they are in the equator region. So we have more species of birds and animals in compared to other northern south pole countries and then after that amazon rainforest not here we are uh, south america and they have one of the greatest biodiversity on earth it is a home to so many species forty thousand of plants three thousand fishes one thousand three hundred of birds and four hundred twenty seven of mammals four twenty seven and uh, you know the list goes on why at least they so what does it source? What is the, you know, what is this? Why, why? Pin ka patan sa ka first pin ka bang yun kinta kay ka? Lati to dinal gradient kasi, malay. Now you can relate, no? Alatitude ka 
Ecuador around Tija, there will be more species which uh, than the countries, whatever it is, in the northern south poles. All right. So why is uh, there is a question? Ecologists and evolutionaries they ask why is this happening? Why the why the species are more rich in the tropics than in the temperate temperate regions of the why species are more rich than in the in tropical areas than in the temperate regions. They come out with some a uh, few points. Why? More species rich than temperate regions. Why? We will see. Alright. Why tropics are more rich than the temperate region? For example, as you tropical areas are two species there can be more species, new new species coming up. Well, as you there are places where we don't have explored yet. You can just take an example of uh, Amazon forest. I can explore lole. Tam piom lai mole. Tropics sam teka. A weather condition telefu mole. Soil condition telefu. Weather climate mole. Rain everything. So why zaga ka om na spot moon pin ka mal ka ham pao wai laga ting ka ting ka mo. So speciation kiti first bin ka bang. Speciation. What is speciation? Formation of new species. Ha? Om. Is more alright in term, in tropical than in the latitude because what happens is the tropical ha millions and millions of hai jabanga ki ki thamlo ki thamlo chile explore lo khong mo undisturbed hoy jama undisturbed regions thamlo thamlo lai jama ha undisturbed T U R B E D undisturbed regions ha thamlo lai chen so because of those there are so many places which are still undisturbed and that is why. What tropical areas are more rich than the temperate? What happens in temperate region is that there are frequent glaciations. I think we have glaciations, the glaciers coming down, more due to like you know, temperature rise and all those more climate fluctuations. Why is that? Because how bang tiay chile glaciations omo minsin species om sa tili asi tam abana asijan o kaya mga why glaciations the omo line chile kaya mga kidisturb loa mo om na ako kidisturb tili om na mula nang but ba do for example a forest cut til balala di hila ba susiya siya la chinchu species tam tina di om danom la wenchu mo na so what happens is that in temperate regions because of frequent glaciations there is less species richness speciation is more in tropical areas because they are being undisturbed for millions of years all right number two tropical environments ka they are less seasonal Less seasonal, mole. Abana. Glaciations come frequently. Omla weje ang ha. We can say they are more constant. More, more constant, and then abana more predictable. As actual temperate regions, they are they are you know they are less predictable. As actual like suddenly you know something can happen, glaciations can happen, and then you know all the species can be you know like. Eh bangga damzo damzo lo ya hilau le mang mo mang mayu aja tu frequent glaciations mo like glaciers the hong om dene jang ha ya vu hong ka kia kia inchen and that way you know it is like mang tu just stable lo you know for that biodiversity rich om na dinga hong some that the environment you know the place has to be very stable alright so in that way they are less seasonal more more constant and then more predictable. Temperate ones, they are less constant and less predictable. So that is, this is the second reason. And uh, a second reason, and number third reason is that third reason will I write this side <coughs> more solar energy. Equator ami jangwa mo Solar energy, sun apada energy le magtam mo mo. So these are the two reasons why tropics are more rich in species than the temperate ones. All right. So this is the first pattern of biodiversity latitudinal gradient. Latitudinal gradient. Why am I hiding things? Number two, pangai chile species area relationship. Area atam dungso yaha. Amo na o atam dungso yaha species chile atam. Why relation mo? The more area we have, the more species we have. All right. 
So there is uh, one guy who is known as, uh, he's a German naturalist by the name of Alexander von Humboldt. He, Alexander in uh, South American uh, jungles, uh, he go and then he do experiment experimentation more. So the more area, all right, the more area, he said, species richness increased with increasing no, explored area but up to only a limit why up to only a limit up to a limit as I told for example a forest can be explored the legend why 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 like uh, why for example uh, mm, can hing can hing on the plants can hold the no, area and explore zaju you will find the species but there will be some at a point one point that you will not find anymore and then why think ha up to a limit kitchen up to a limit kitchen tom khat hold the aban anom non low pod the om ki ki di chi nam lo wejo mole at some point of time ha why ha aban a hold to hold 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 you can you can go deeper and deeper to the jungles and then you will find again mole to that ne ha so up to a limit chi ha so species richness increase with increasing explore area but only up to a limit ma you hold them you hold them like see how many china so he lies on low ma he le he le mga you hold pe pon le hold lu lu le ha forest ya ha till species tak le ha an om thau di ma species tam tam lagi mu thau di hold pe ngai ma he le tam ha jo jo om lo om lo namun area le om thau jo hiya so up to a limit china more reason ah align ha align pe kan thesis am dia so species richness increases when increasing explore area but only up to a limit so he found out that when he plot in the graph all right when he plot in the graph he found out that for example this is the graph jenny and her species richness this is the area mole he found that it mostly gives one curve why a curve in pencha monchi rectangular hyperbola keep in your mind bang chi banga akar fa rectangular hyperbola ki mo aba na log scale a hol cha ma log scale chan log mo log ri thima chu it is a straight line straight line straight line in log scale so this is what he found a rectangular hyperbola ha kar fo mo and then after that he the relationship s is equal to c a z S kabang species richness mole A chubang area mo C to Y intercept X and Y intercept X to Y ki mo na hilo linchin ha chui poy mo kholok mo linchin Z pin chui a slope of the line mo slope of the line he ka pe timetical term sa ki konval me me mo chilo mo mo buay na di om lo so this is how so again pin chui bang ay chile tun area ha Bang kaji area atam bungsu ya ha species dia le tam mau birds dia le tam whatever species it is animals or birds or plants right so anak sah ha bang ay jadi the importance of species tu community ha ha biodiversity which di nanti le should they have to have a stable community so what type of stable community do we need to have so that you know the diversity can be more so a stable a stable community what is the characteristics in order to have a biodiversity which is rich you need to have a stable community so what are the characteristics of a stable community so what do they need to have first there should not be too much changes or differences of the productivity to come up with a productivity you are a result so to come out like um kidale hoi tau tau di mala that means mean tiyan ka baha di stab lao di po ching le om lao di hoi dewa ka kyan kao thai di so there will be less variation there will be less variation all right too much variation om lao di aba na disturbances like natural mala disaster ko ngale ka effect kao lao di mao ka om bang bang om di bang sato gil ka natural disaster te om lele mao ka hing tau tau di mala and then there will be either resistant or resilient to occasional disturbances, maybe natural or man-made, mole. And then alien species, foreign, foreign species, mole. Mun gamda nga pa da ka, tu gamda nga pa da species kalhon pa itale, e gamma kiko itale. It can be fish, it can be animals, it can be plants. 
Why can't you tell me what you want? Why characteristic you tell me that community is known as what? A stable community. All right. So, what type of community can we call it stable? They should not so too much variation. Number one, they should not be. They should be either resistant, mana? Not too much variations. Number one. Number two, bang. Resistant, mana? Resistant or resilient to occasional disturbances. And number three, resistant again to invasion by alien species. Resistant to disturbances. High criteria to fulfill the Jamaha we can call a stable community. Clear? And then now this will have what more species year to year, and then they'll have higher productivity year by year. So these are the characteristic of stable community. Community cut. Community cut. Ha, a stable thing. Ha. Poi mo dan ka example ka pa yung to lead na bang mala lead na bang i magnet na yung yuto ay lao le bang a i thil zot pi na yung yuto ki tampi ki forma ka tampi hon tao jang ka airplane ka hoy dewang tay thi yung mala to nang a passenger ita for example hoy zot pi yung dewang tay kaya and there will be no problem mo ni la kaya poi lao tum liang a si passenger tingin la kaya mo le bang chidi the airplane will Fall down and it will collapse, na? There will be air crash, right? So why why new and new till so till new new till ha poi mo dan species a community ale to species new kan hai bang mat chicken te poi mo kai ole mang he ole extinct he chi de. It can affect the whole ecosystem, alright? That is that shows how important one species is, how they relate to each other, how they interact with each other in a population in a community. That shows the importance. Why ha who give? It is known as what rivet. Popet, popper hypothesis. Hypothesis apa? Mau apa? Baca minyak arjil le, pol, kerle. So he says those rivets in the plants, we can say they are the species. How important it is? Rivets in the air plant. Why is opium yang niat dia mau species? How important one species is to one another to maintain a stable community. Example apa le? So if one species is removed, then it will affect, or it will, you know, it will affect the whole ecosystem. It will be there will be imbalance in the ecosystem. So they are so important. These species, you know, sometimes there are some species which are known as keystone species. Keystone, the jungle, to chabilo ang thailo ni chuma la inle. So that those species can cut. Ama ko ane yung bird ko na may thay hilale til atang seeds ko na may 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 thay hilale huwag atang ten lao tale. There will be no germination in the soil. Here, for example, there will be no plants, even though they are just one bird. So there is a keystone species important. So it's all species are important for the maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. If there is a disturbance, the ecosystem will fail. All right. So there are so many species like that. So in that way, he related to the rivets of the airplane, and that hypothesis is known as rivet popper hypothesis. Next, ah, at sila biodiversity ka hita na kaka kita introduction na the patterns kita, why the stable community is important kita, then why there are still loss of biodiversity. Biodiversity ako makuha bang zaga kilo, animal species ba bang zaga extinct and danger critically and danger threatened vulnerable kiti mo le. A category category ah ka red list ah kiko red data IUC na kiko. So why there is a loss of biodiversity? Can you think about some reasons? IUCN, how do we maintain it? IUCN, red list. It's not a red list. It's not a red list. It's a denser. It contains all the species of animals and plants, all the organisms in this book. Are they extinct? Are they critically endangered? Are they vulnerable? And according to that, we have to conserve our plants and animals. Why can't create this kitchen? It contains all the, uh, the uh, all the plants and animals of the earth in categories like critically endangered, vulnerable, threatened. All right. So why red list? Because I will see it. Red data book kitchen. 
So loss of biodiversity at tutana extinct dekhande. Thanks for coming back here. There are so many people because of uh, there are so uh, many animals because of the activities due to the activities of human. Mole they have been extinct. For example, in the dodo, na tiu yah kai wa alin tiu lo ka Mauritius silent na mo min ka kap kap mayo chim thoi na kap 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 bunti a kap kap bunti ang ka bangti extinct mo mo tiu lo ka la Mauritius second na ka kuaga Africa but Thailand. Australia, more stellar seagull. This is an aquatic mammal, more bone hilo hill. Aquatic mammal, my Russia, Abana, the tiger, Bali, Java, and Caspian chico. So, all these are already disappeared. They have already disappeared from the face of the earth due to human activities. Why they have? So, these are the reasons why we need to conserve money, whatever is still living here. So I have seen red data listing ka or extinct species they ka you can see it from the text mo they are very very important. So two tana ka why extinct so nom jama ka in lots and lots of numbers we call it mass extinction. Right mass extinction kichi two tana extinction chanda wa ka animals tam pia extinct they ka there have been already five. Can you imagine already five mass extinction. And the one which are undergoing right now, okay, that is known as the sixth extinction phase. How is it different? Mga kikiat na. Ito na ito ako bang sixth extinction phase ako. Aki ba lang na ito bang number one na? The reds. Bang red. The red that with the extinction goes is much faster, you know, than the other years the rate is much faster which is calculated to be around 100 to 1000 times faster all right and then after that if it continues the trend continues ecologist says that it wants that nearly half of the species can be wiped out in the next hundred million years that we can give it a thought, right? This thing. So now we are in the sixth extinction, which is in the which is in the uh, which is happening right now, and in the years to come. And then, how is it different from the already five mass extinction? The rates, the current species extinction rates, is estimated to be about uh, to be around one hundred to one thousand times faster. And then. If this continue, then we can wipe out all our uh, half of our species. All right, half of the half of species can be wiped out in the next million years. That is the reason why six extinction is much much different than the other mass extinction. All right, I how important. Actually, banga are reason there. What do you think it will be? What are the causes of biodiversity loss? What do you think are the causes of biodiversity loss? The things that we do to our animals and plants, you know, that evil thing that we do so that they become extinct or they become so much threatened and vulnerable. That is why we call it evil quartet. Quartet to four mana. So there will be four. Number one, bang. Habitat loss. Om na mun teoka basar kya ula. Ahi lo le teo tuang tuang balam leo chit. For example, now you, in the name of the development project, we started making national highways through the forest, through our biosphere reserve, through the reserve protected areas. National highways, Bolta, Lampi, we have to connect, you know, from one state to another, let's say, Manipura, Pada, Assam, to the railway, Bolta, Chitale, Rail, Kibol, and then those, uh, can, you know, that can, that can be a loss for the habitat for the animals, and then we break into fragments for different, different purposes, that breaking into fragments of their habitats, that is known as fragmentation, okay? Development minakal jando tilibol jangan apa depends is that the animals living there, you know they face lots of problems, 
Maupaina Moon, they always go to this, uh, this same route, you know, and then when suddenly there is a loss in the habitat, then they have to move and run away uh, farther to the jungles, or they can have, uh, we can have men and animal conflict. Mole hoi kalampi ho nga hon paizia, nus a siblew jit elephant ho nga lampia, all ola payo railway tracks ho nga le si lampia garen puhati ho nga le na singkawi way mole. That is because of habitat loss and fragmentation that is done by the human beings. Number two. Over exploitation. So, me hing ten ha, ipoimo chukit he. Evang ipoimo penu ha, inis penu ha, greed. Do am na ha, hon tamal chang ha bang. We over exploit the world, natural resources. Alright. That is the reason why before we have uh, lots of beautiful um, animals like pigeon, passenger pigeon, stellar sea cow, and we over exploit them just for the heck of you know hunting them, having fun. You know, those people who are maybe the the high shots like the kings and the queens or the you know the these people they just as a laser time they keep on hunting and we ever over exploit them so this is another cause of biodiversity loss number three a less species invasion so what is the third cause of biodiversity loss when some foreign plants or animals were introduced into the native country for example, some plants and animals, we find it beautiful, we find it nice, and then we just take from other countries and then put into our uh, rivers so that it looks beautiful. And what happens is that they kill all our own local fishes or our own local plants. So that is why I buy one of the causes of biodiversity loss, Hiloma. So anything which is not belonging to the native country or the native place, we also call it indigenous. Indigenous native deha ea. Alien is something which is introduced from other place. That is known as alien. Yeah, alien ha concept. So they invade and they destroy our native species. For example, Nile Parch, Nile Parch Fispin, Lake Victoria, Ahava introduced such Ava introduce the young aha, what happens is that why fish teha lega nom sapin ha, atamzo and new teha, they are they could not survive because of the Nile parch. Why Nile parch pin ha bang? Nile to Eziba, but more Nile parch pin ha. They are the alien species which is invading the uh, the river and then they are different species which are already there so they could not survive and they die. And then it hadi wachu water hyacin icornia lecha. We introduce it to our rivers in Bengal, and they, because they look beautiful, but the thing is that they took up so much space and they multiply so much. Mole ni sale munontalo tuinwaya techa, and then those other fishes they could not survive, and lack of oxygen and they die. So you know that is the reason why we uh, we. Why water high sin teha? Tam piha kila kya mo asya chu kanalo. Like it looks beautiful, but it is a invading the space of those are already there. Water high sin is a very good example. And then lantana, lantana ka partheni ya minchin lantana ka. What happens is the dialing dan the umo dialing teha. Ama apo po na ka adang te po saklo. And then it is like you know uh, poisonous to some animals also. And then so it becomes a weed, which is something which you don't want, and they keep on growing, you know. Till the start, yeah, 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 Amasaha, environmental, I think organisms and populations, I think we studied if the moat, the fig tree, ficus fig tree, to have moat, a relationship material, a fig tree, a moat, a pollination, both. They are only, they only pollinate the fig species, ficus. Male, a female, they have flowers, they have flowers, they have flowers, you remember, they lay their eggs and then in that, way they also pollinate the they also help in pollination so if the mode is not there then what will happen the ficus will not get pollinated so there will be no fruit so if one is not there then the other also will die clear so a fish for example fish are parasite on touching why a fish pin 
invasion zaga kha ama kha sita achile parasite parasite khom ki pets fits pena kha fish pena om tale ama le sidu china mane so so if they cannot live without one another they go evolve you know so if one dies the other also dies clear so we can find in the plant pollinator as well as the uh, in the fish so this is about the loss of uh, biodiversity to next aha if we see lost things of why should we conserve huh? why do we need to conserve biodiversity why do we need to conserve biodiversity why there are around reasons three number one so biodiversity why bagzaga conserve what you let on a thing a Apart from the aneulewa, aneulewa, in a narrow sense, let us say, in the narrow sense, how do they help us? Number one, number two, in the broad sense, how do they help us? All right, and number three, ethical, what is right, what is wrong? You know that human, you don't see my father, adiglatic law, banga acceptable, acceptable law. So those are the three reasons. So the first one is narrowly utilitarian. Banga narrowly utilitarian. Adding a part of them, banga in a narrow sense, ah, pumpia hilo mo. Like not in a very broad, not like oxygen and all this, but adding a meaning, adding a banga part of them. So we get what food, right? We get firewood, we get fiber, we get construction material, we get industrial products, we get perfumes, dyes, resins, and lots of medicinal importance that the forest and all the biodiversity gives to us. That is how they. So give service to us. Those are the reasons why we need to conserve biodiversity. My right. Till bangsa tahiam forest apa dati elat heng malay ihing zo lo wu. Till teng teng dam doi le perfume sile malay resin sile construction material sile. So you know they are utilizing. We are utilizing the biodiversity in so many ways in a narrow sense. Number two, broad sense. To a broad sense, it is a much broadly utilitarian. Mga kikiana, what is the difference between this? Broadly utilitarian, it is a much like oxygen. Amazon forest in her twenty percent of the world's oxygen is supplied by the Amazon forest. Therefore, it is known as what the lungs of the planet. Twenty percent oxygen supplied by the Amazon forest. Why Amazon forest le boy nata matam le fires kongo me ilo le soya bean cultivation adi nga ha de ki bon clearing out the forest and there's so many problems with the forest and the government in the South of South America. That is why we need to conserve them. As I told you, amal le oxygen lo ha ki hing thay lo cha ki lay thay lo cha atho na ne chere hong pia ki lo mo oxygen lay di le cho ki lay zau thay lo di mo le so they are broadly Utilize, we are broadly utilizing them. They are giving the service to all the human beings, all over the world. So it is broadly utilitarian. Narrowly to, yom na na ili adinga ka banga apatom na broadly to yung ako as a whole, mula. To as a whole ako oxygen ay yung example ako niya. A second a pollination. Plants yom lole, bees yom lole, pollination yom lole. There will be no fruits, right? So if there are no trees, if there are no flowers, how can pollination take place? So pollination also is the second poly utilitarian, right? By the biodiversity. If there are no bumblebees, if there are no birds, if there are no bats, then how can pollination take place? So pollination is another. First is what? Air. Number two is pollination. Mana? And then number three is what? The third reason is what? Ethical. Ethical reason. Mga atik atik lo. Hai va ha kaya di nga patom lo. Nyo 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 na nyo na laki na thay lo. Hai va thad. Stay thay lang mga dalung tanga. Di kaya di lo na ang bay mo na katil bola di kaya di lo. Baka kibol thay thay. Hai pa ka awareness na rin chin. Mi hingi hina gan hingle sa antelo hing sing tiha it it na nay thay di asya kung maulaw ka huwag petuhiwa 
so we are going to consider because there are so many species and plants in our places philosophically, spiritually, mole, religious books and harm of the So it is our own decision. Mo adikya adiklohia ethical argument. Otherwise, that we should know that it is our moral duty so that we can conserve in all the uh, generations to come. All right, banga banga na bol ihin songa. Kan hinte plants tia ding aha banga ibol the. Mo we can conserve it. All right, we should love and and for example, just see to sing tang lam konga hilo le sing utam na lam konga. So we should know that it is our duty to conserve. All right. Topic and the last topic for this chapter: biodiversity and uh, its conservation, ways of conserving biodiversity. For example, if you want to save a tiger, let's say a tiger is staying somewhere here, more near our place. Why have a tiger save the medicine hub so that they can live in their natural habitat? Okay, I'm not talking about taking them and putting in the juice. I'm taking I'm talking about preserving and conserving in their natural habitats. Then what do we do? Then we have to you know protect the entire forest, right? So, how do we conserve biodiversity? We can conserve either by protecting them in their, in their natural habitat or there may be some cases where we cannot put in their natural habitat. Maybe you want to do um, hybridization or you want to take care of the baby and you want to let them and they are like endangered, more endangered. So, you have to, you know, and you, they need special uh, care and treatment, all right? So when they need that, we take out from their own original place and you look after them, all right? Under what the help of the government, then that is also a way of conserving. Loma, mala. So chini omin chini mo hatpin ka amuna isif mo ay ti ka banga kiti number one ka amuna isif ti ka bang in situ. Hai differences ka pa gi mo ai ba ngat na kon ken ja khial ve ve o ze chu you don't read enough understand the difference between the concept enough that is why you're facing problems even to just to differentiate these two uh this uh this two conservation in situ and ex situ in situ ji cha ha amuna on the side conservation ai chu on the side their natural habitat I think I'll work among the lowly team. You can make your own sentences. So when conservation is done, you know, on the site conservation, <coughs> that approach is known as what? In situ con conservation. And the other approach is, like, for example, a plant or animal is facing an endangered you know, and then you're just gonna treat them more. Ma ba na extinction ang tayo dito siya nga ka. Hindi ka tayo dito. You take arsen measures and you keep it in the zoos. Mo le, na ito ka exitu. Alright. Na ito ka bang exitu kichi. So, na ito ka lang dito. Exitu pa ka on the side in their natural habitat. So in situ conservation of a tang pia tun and lay the biodiversity hotspots. What is biodiversity hotspot? Lay tung pun pia biodiversity hotspots ka around 30, 30, 34, I think. Why la kalay in dia letel kamo? As actually we have lots and lots of what we are rich and we are rich in species, and where are the places where we are rich, and why they are called as biodiversity hotspots because they are very rich in there is one term which is known as endemism, banga endemism.
endemism to Jangachu, the species, you will not find anywhere else. You will find only in that place. They are known as endemic species. And where the endemic species is more, you have to conserve more. You have to take care and protect because it's like the, you know, mga igamadile mo. country ay din ka, like kilasap. It is like a heritage, right? So, endemic species, they ka om na tamti ka, biodiversity hotspot kasi, why ka enne. And therefore, we really need to conserve, you know, in in situ way. There are some biodiversity hotspots that we have in our country. They are like uh, Western Guards. I'm going to look at the last region, more Western Guards. Number two, uh, I Sri Lanka to keep it home. Number two, uh, Indo Burma. Hey, India to Burma, you got a leha species. Tampi, um, I can explore my own demo. Habana, next, uh, Himalayas. Tibetan, Sikkim, Mone, Palak. So, I think, uh, there, you know, we have to really, these are our biodiversity hotspots because they are very rich in endemism. That means there are species which are found only in that place and not well, not, not elsewhere in the world. Little Pumpia Kimolo. For example, we have Nilgiri Tar, Nilgiri Hills, Mohilo, Asiatic Island, no, Asiatic Lion, Mangada Guzera, the Omabana, Bengal Tiger, Mole National Animal of India, Mole Sikong. So you have lots of amphibians, all right, different types of amphibians in Western Guards. Don Manipur and Lay, we have Sangai, Little Mundanga Kimolo, Mole, Mbana Siroi Lili, and in that way we have so many, so many endemic species that we need to conserve and it is our duty to conserve we, we conserve it in an in-situ way in their natural habitat so that is all about in-situ conservation <clears throat> and in India we have um, uh, biodiversity rich regions so we there are some which are known as biosphere reserves more biosphere reserve Chikong Chichang to reserve area issue government in more upload a high I have there up at Hayton I have me in the punk at sing at hello he loved it in a tourist and pal by a core area being her but both hello common hello gun in the edit so then we have we fix all these cameras and we study how do you how do how they leave money to home a national sort of fiction of one like in the museum discovery channel well so we have by sphere reserve, we have national parks, all right, different so many national parks were there in India. You can uh, Google it and you can see it. Yeah, India um uh uh Manipurale Sangai Mo Sangai Om Naha. In Chinok Tak Lega Bana Sanctuaries, Wildlife Sanctuaries, like we have uh Asama Lekasiranga National Park, we have uh, wildlife sanctuaries, uh Church and Pura Om Kata. Kailam wildlife sanctuary in Chile. We are very. We have that endemic clouded leopard, bangawai hornbill. Chikomo. We have that, which is not the species. We are very much only confined to our place. So yeah, wildlife sanctuaries, company, government, they they try to protect all these animals and birds and plants. And we have um, around 14 biosphere reserves, 19 national parks, and 448 wildlife sanctuaries. And there is also one more thing in in situ. Aha. In the, on, the play, yeah, at the, on the site itself, in their natural habitat, there is one which is uh, where the community, they protect the forest from time immemorial by the tribals. And that is known as sacred groves. Sacred groves. They are the groves. They are, they are the forests. Okay, rich, dense forests, and they are sacred. Nothing is allowed to take in and out of that place. We can just go and go and see the beautiful flowers and beautiful plants. More. So these sacred groves were found in Khasi and Jainke Hills. If you have been to Shillong, then you can visit the sacred grove. So many sacred groves were there. Banana Meghalaya, Aravalli Hills in Rajasthan, Janda and Bastar areas of Madhya Pradesh. So they are a place where we can find threatened plants and rare and threatened plants. That is why they conserve. Voilà. So these are the in situ examples. What about ex situ? Ex situ achukatibangaha. Since they are facing some endangered, you know, treated, and we need to, you know, look after them more carefully and put, uh, protect them. We take out from their own natural habitat and we keep it in special settings where they can be protected. I 
Park Situ Ha Zoological Park so nam di mo National Park bin Khabam in Situ don't forget abana we have botanical gardens we have wildlife safari parks man ya Africa ko ngale gari to mo cha tai na tai sil de safari aha you can see it some you know um, animal like uh, animal like uh, banga zebra chikong male giraffe chikong so we can visit them and we can enjoy the places so it's a it's a, it's a way of conserving all right the animals those who are undergoing uh, uh, um, you know threat to be threatened or endangered in the future so exit to changa we take out from the natural habitat and we keep it under protected care special settings where they can be protected and given special care and then also exit to another one is that for example to hai jeep and hai tiger jeep and khama bana kha bait hai di jeet hai le kha we can take out their eggs and semen and we can give it more seeds hongle we can keep it in the lab right in liquid nitrogen kha temperature ngam de wa kha mole ko changa kha that is known as cryo preservation techniques cryo Preservation techniques. Cryo preservation techniques. Eggs can be fertilized in vitro or in vitro. You can protect them and you can use them wherever it is uh, possible in the in the future. So it is way of what conserving them inside the lab. Eggs and then also we we also have uh, <coughs> seed banks where we can keep different types of seeds. Seed bank. Antarctica yang kata ni, situ am tom le itu pun dia mabana like hunger, wall hunger kong om le situ ha mangbei di mo, he rice dia, he dole wheat dia, wheat dia, they preserve it, they keep it different varieties of rice and wheat and all over the world and they keep it in the seed bed. Liquid nitrogen ha, minus bangal temperature yang dia wahak kiko itu so that they will not, they will not, they will be, they will be, they will be fertile. Well, again, when we used it, silody, ebang acu, cah dormant stage aku kau ima. So in that way, we are preserving them. Alas na ka, biodiversity, biodiversity or biological diversity. That is a set. That is one first conference, which is known as Art Summit. The Art Summit. Hei kau yang mai jile, Brazil. Kuma 1992, 1992, and I keep on so that all the nations they come up and then talk to take appropriate measures for the conservation of biodiversity of and sustainable, sustainable to change to to all the zadi mabana le. Why namlo sa tayo mo sustainable goals for a sustainable future. Here, resources to natural resources to, and then after that there is one more sustainable development. Sustainable development is held in 2002, South Africa, Johannesburg. Second one more, so that we can all protect and preserve, and then you know I will be aware so that we can use it our resources now as well as in the future, like 2030. Tala banga i ibang kado i i babana i panhumlang ti home di mo 2030 bago 2040 tana bangay ko so chidan daw sustainable development ha kibol gigi and then this all are taken by the Ministry of Environment of Forest Malay Environment Protection Act ti home noya so in this way we so that we pledge 190 countries pledge alright their commitment to achieve in 2010 so that there will be significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity lost at global, regional, and local levels. <clears throat> so now we are done with biodiversity conservation. So don't forget what are the two ways of conserving uh, biodiversity in situ and ex situ. So why should we conserve biodiversity? Because they give us so many benefits like in the form of nearly utilitarian 
broadly utilitarian and ethical right so what are the causes of biodiversity loss it is known as evil quartet habitat loss and fragmentation over exploitation alien species invasion and co-extinction what is sixth extinction that is right now we are presently in the sixth extinction and the difference between sixth extinction and the fifth ex the last five episodes of extinction is that it what happens the difference in the rates and the current species extinction rate are estimated to be 100 to 1000 times faster than the pre-human times and our activities human activities are the rest are responsible for that and then if this continue then we can uh, wipe out half of a species from the face of the earth then why do we need uh, what is the importance of species diversity for the importance is that to have a stable community more or less so that they cannot be too much differences in their productivity they should be resistant and then uh, so that both species um, they show less uh, variation year after year and therefore they can contribute to the higher productivity and also we also studied what are the patterns patterns which are latitudinal Malay in the top countries which are in the equator they'll have more species richness than those who are found in the north or the south pole countries and what is the reason because speciation formation of new species and then there is uh, uh, tropical regions here less seasonal and we have more solar energy and, and then after that the first one why at different levels of biological organization what are those three levels of biodiversity at the genetic level we talk about Rawolfia, vomituria the potency or the concentration is different in different parts of the ranges of himalayas and we have uh, species diversity where we find amphibian species were much more in western guards than eastern guards therefore they are also known as the one of the hot spots when we say hot spots that means we are, there is a high level of endemism and when we say what is endemism they are the species which are found only in that place confined to that and not found elsewhere in the world and then we have ecological diversity where india is india has diverse ecology than the norway and what is biodiversity? It is the number, total number of living organisms of plants and animals found in the earth. It was given, uh, it was popularized by Edward Wilson and the term was given by Rosen. So now, go through your notes and then you study okay, again and again so that you will have a complete grasp of the concept, the understanding of this chapter. Anyway, so thank you everyone. Take care.